Hi there, it's Lorley, and I wanted to just pop over quickly and show you um, like a really rudimentary method of copying what's on your um, current homepage if you wanted to do that and um, make it as a like a duplicate page ultimately on your site. So I'm going to just, I just right clicked on my on my mouse and I'm choosing page, view page source and um, it's, it should be the same in Firefox or anything else, but I'm using Google Chrome and it pulls up the full HTML version of your, of your site. So like absolutely everything in the code. And then I'm going to just choose control A to copy or sorry, to highlight all of it. And then control C to copy it to my clipboard. I'm not going to use yours specifically on my site because it seemed to pull up some weird code, but I'm going to show you an example with um, my own. So if I were to use the featured courses like you're wanting to use on your site, this is what my page would look like. It's a little bit bland, but I'm going to repeat the process I was just showing you. So view page source and then control A to select everything, control C to copy everything. And then I'll come over to my pages section in the dashboard of Teachable, click new page. And then I'm going to choose the blank template option so that we're not having any of the footer, uh, header and footer. I'm going to just do a I'm just going to put test three, paste all of the um, code that was on my clipboard and click save page. And then um, I'll just go into preview it and you can see what it looks like. So this new test three page uh, looks exactly the same. So if you ultimately, if you wanted to change some of something that's on the page, you would, um, you know, need to go in there and fiddle around with the code. But um, if you scroll down to the areas that look familiar to you, you should probably be able to, or even uh, do a control F to pull up a specific line of text that you wanted to go to, like maybe, um, no, I'm not seeing the featured course part, but, um, you know, if there was some specific test or text that you wanted to change, you could do that by um, just searching for it and then scrolling down to that area. So hopefully that helps. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.